Gang, gang, it's your boy Tay Hussein, and I'm back with another video. I don't know why this song, this song right here, man, by uh, this nigga, this nigga Ace, bro. Uh, this song, this song speaks to me so much, though. I don't know why, though. This shit, man. This song right here, man. This shit, this shit, this song right here be putting the nigga down, okay? They can't ask me, I'm okay. I ain't shit okay. I've been hurt my whole life. I lost my best friend. I cannot hear a lot of pain when I'm constantly hurt. It's why I hope for the best, but I prepare for the worst. Feel like my whole life is hell, I tend to go through the more. I've been trying to be in the dark and I won't know how to go. What you know about pain? No cap. I don't know why. I don't know why that song speaks to me so much, man. I don't know why, man. But that shit, that shit be putting me, that shit be putting me in my motherfucking mode, dog. No cap, man. Shit, um, I decided to get out the house, man. Um, I be, in my comments, I see a lot of people who, who say they, they been depressed and they are depressed. You know what I'm saying? I just want to say, man, um, for, for those who told their story in my comment section or who going through stuff, shit, man, we got to be here for each other, man. We got to be here for each other, man. I just want to say I love y'all. Just continue to stay strong. If I'm staying strong, y'all got to stay strong. No matter what situation y'all in, y'all got to stay strong, man. We got to stay strong for each other, man. If y'all telling me it get better, then I got to tell y'all to get better because, you know what I'm saying, I, I wouldn't be here. I wouldn't be here for one for jazz. You feel me? I can't say my baby because my baby, you know what I'm saying, she went here before all that man i went even though i was going through that stuff before jazz but i was just like i was in, getting my rocky dark mode before jazz came along and i wouldn't be here without jazz i wouldn't be here without her like i said in the uh about everybody in the comment section man um, we gotta stay strong man we gotta stick together you know i decided to get out the house today um came to get my hair cut i'm about to i ain't get my hair cut yet but i'm about to go in there and get my hair cut now i had uh i was i was talking to chris yesterday and i'm not talking about uh chris sales i'm talking about gilly chris Gilly, I don't call Chris Gilly, uh, but Chris from Chris and Trey, for anybody who don't really know still. I was talking to him, man. I ain't gonna cap, man. Me and Chris, man, we didn't, me and Chris didn't really got like this, like, no cap, man. Like, man, 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 that nigga be talking every day. If not every day, every other day. Like, we talk, we talk, like, we can go, me and Chris can go a week, a week and a half, or two weeks without, without, uh, without talking and shit, you know what I'm saying? We gonna bounce back, we gonna pick up where we left off. Right then and there, but I was supposed to go down there or whatever, man. Like I was buying my ticket. I was supposed to go to Atlanta. Um, I had bought my ticket and everything. Well, I was about to buy my ticket and everything. I was waiting on Chris, but he never hit me back. So he probably hit me back today, man. I don't know yet. Uh, he probably called me in the morning or something like that. I mean, or later on or something. I'm not trying to say I'm leaving for good, or you know what I'm saying I ain't trying to say. You know, I ain't I ain't trying to I ain't trying to say I'm leaving Jazz or I'm not never coming back. It's just um, I need a break. I'm not saying I need a break from my baby or jazz. I need a break for myself. The people that go through what I go through, they, they get it. They get what I'm saying. It's like you need a break from yourself. It's like you not yourself. You got like a fucking parasite in you when you depressed. It's like a demon or something, but I just need a break from myself. I haven't been able to do what I want to do because I keep putting it off for other things and I'm over it. I want to I wanna do what I want to do. That Tay and Jazz channel wasn't supposed to be Tay and Jazz. It was supposed to be Tay Hussein. That was my channel. I messed up what I had going on. It wasn't supposed to be. I don't know, I don't know what it is. It was supposed to be Tay Hussein, and uh, that kind of messed up what I had going on because I wanted to get to a million myself. But uh, I seen I had seen a couple's the little couple's uh, channels was popping and stuff around that time. So I'm like, uh, I'm gonna just change to Tan Jazz, and plus everybody else was telling me to change to Tan Jazz too. So I'm like, I might as well just change. That kind of like that kind of like messed me up. You know what I'm saying? I'm about to, I'm about to go in here. I'm about to go in here and get my hair cut real fast, y'all. But y'all right here, this my guy right here, man. They get me together, man. Go ahead, follow him. Follow him on the ground right now. Appreciate Jay cuts, it. man. Always get me together, man. Y'all know I'm letting this front grow out and stuff like that, man. Man's always get me together, man. Make sure y'all follow him. Book y'all appointments. Y'all have to book y'all appointments with him, man. Y'all can't just walk in. No walk in. I don't even know where I left off at in this video, y'all. Uh, I went to my mom's house. You know what's funny? I couldn't even lie to her no more. You know what I'm saying? Cause my little brother and my mom, they both was, they both asked me am I all right. You know what I'm saying? Cause I went over there and I was just so dis. This is the most distant I've ever been throughout my throughout my whole life being depressed. This is my first time being so distant. While I drowned, I drowned my little brother and my mama at the same time. They both was on one side of me. Like I was drowning them out. Like I tuned them out i couldn't hear what they were saying but i heard all i heard was are you you you, you okay 
you okay? And I tried to hold it in because I know that's when somebody going through something, their favorite line is, I'm fine, or yeah, I'm okay. I'm inside of me, like my, I don't know, the, I don't know, it's like the depression is like my coat and I'm inside of that, you know what I'm saying? I'm inside of that, but I cleared my head and I just told my mom, I'm like, like no, nah, I'm not all right. First she had asked me like, is everything going, going good at home and stuff like that? I said, yeah, everything, everything fine at home, everything good. Uh, she had asked me again, like, you, you sure you okay? I'm like, I'm like, you know what? No, I'm not okay, I'm not all right. I'm like, uh, I'm depressed. You know, my mom, she already, she already uh witnessed like me going through a lot of stuff when I was, uh, well, at the age of 16, that's when like, that's when like the depression really hit me hard when I was like 16. She already had, she know what I go through. When it comes to depression, I don't know, it's like me and her like this when it comes to that type of stuff, depression. It's weird, but I don't know like where, where it all came from, but I just know like it just happened. So I've been over there like, I've been over there for, over there for like, I got my hair cut at like 10, 10.45, I went over, yeah, I was over there for about three hours. I've been on my mom's house for about three hours. Talked to uh, my mom and my brother, seen my niece uh, and my sister, and it was straight, you know? It was straight. I'm back at home. Uh, it felt good getting out the house because, y'all, I literally can stay in the house for days, like, and won't go out. But it felt good getting out the house and getting um, some fresh air. Again, I just want to say thank y'all for all the love and support that I've been getting, man. Like, I've been getting the, the support nonstop, man. And I see other people going through what I go through. And it amazes me, like, how many people go through this shit. Like, that shit amazes me, dog. To the point where I, I was reading some of the comments and I sat there after reading so many I, I sat there and I I just sat there and just looked in the fucking I just sat and just looked at the wall It's, it's so many people that they get me you know what I'm saying like, they understand and I haven't had nobody understand what I'm what I what I've been through and what I've been going through in a long time y'all and for, for everybody to support me and people to say say they can relate to what I'm going through that shit is it's honestly it's like a weight lifted off my shoulders because I feel like I'm not the only one you know I'm not the only one that you know what I'm saying gotta isolate themselves or tune everybody out to to cope with the pain you know what I'm saying um I feel like music music helped me cope with the pain but sometimes music I feel like I feed my depression I feel like I feed it with music and it be it don't be like happy music it be sad music like music that'll make you think and overthink and shit like that so i don't know why but i feel like that's what i gotta do you know what i'm saying and it's like sometimes like lately i've been feeling myself trying to get over it, the depression shit try to just get i'm trying to get over it but it seems like every time i'm almost up there i just be i sit there and i just get drugged back down i don't know how i don't know why i literally don't know why it's hard it's so hard to explain like if you i was just talking to my mom about this if you've never been through uh never experienced depression or never been around somebody that's depressed you would never understand like she was telling me like if the people research it, see the symptoms and everything like that i'm like they still wouldn't understand they still you no know, you would never understand how depression feel if you never experienced it or been around somebody that's going through it you would never understand everybody just tell I, i've been seeing comments like like man up suck it up or bro depression is not some shit that you can just turn the fuck off and go about your day you cannot just turn depression off. Why? If you could turn depression on and off, why the fuck would somebody be depressed anyways in the beginning? Why would you be depressed if you could switch it on and off? So you're going to switch the depression on when you want to be depressed? That shit is dumb as fuck, bro. Depression is not something that you can switch off. I wish people realized that, you know what I'm saying? It will be less suicides, you know what I'm saying? A Fox 2 News anchor, she killed herself. She was depressed. She had eye surgery, but I, I don't know what, what surfaced and made that, that happen for her to do something like that to herself, but... All I know is, is that it happened, man. And people didn't notice. Nobody didn't notice until, guess what? She killed herself. I feel like it's fucked up that you really gotta, you really gotta hurt yourself. And sometimes that don't even be enough for people to say, oh, I'm here for you. I'm here, what you want me to do? That's still not enough, you know what I'm saying? And I feel bad, I feel bad for the people that go through that shit, man. I swear, man, I feel so bad, man. And I'm, I'm honestly gonna pray for myself and I'm gonna pray for everybody that's going through that type of stuff, man. I, that's, that sucks, that sucks, man. That sucks, man. If you, that that's been at the bottom. That's been at the bottom. I just wanna, I just literally wanna thank everybody for the love and support, man. Honestly, I really wanna thank everybody for the love and support. It's kinda, it, it's, it's helping me a little. I'm trying to pick myself back up, but it's like I'm not, I'm not where I want to be, you know. I'm not where I want to be, and uh, I don't know how long it's gonna take. But I, I really love y'all so much, man. Real shit, man. Y'all really keeping my head up.
I respect that shit, man. But about me leaving, and that's what I was talking about, about me leaving. Um, I don't know if I'm going to leave. I was supposed to leave uh, sometime this week, but I don't know if I'm going to leave, man, because... Uh, yeah, Chris haven't called me or whatever. And I don't know, like, what's going on with that situation. I don't know if he finna go back to Texas. I do want to leave and be around, like, a good vibe, you know? Being around my family, being around Jazz and my baby is a good vibe. But, like I said, if you never experienced depression, then you ne you would never understand. Like, I should leave and, you know, go see if that works. Me leaving for a couple of days and see if that works. I still help Jazz a lot. I still be helping her a lot with our baby and stuff like that. So that didn't ever change. I'm always there. And uh, one thing I told my mom, uh, before I end this video off, uh, one thing I told my mom was, I feel like I, I didn't want her to get postpartum depression. I didn't want her to feel that. So I feel like I absorbed all of that. I absorbed all of her. I feel like I absorbed all that depression that she was gonna get. I absorbed all that. And now it's in me now. I wanted, I wanted to keep Jazz happy so much. I didn't even want her to focus or be alone or even feel the slightest bit of depression. And I feel like I absorbed that to the point I wasn't happy no more, you know? I'm I'm glad that, that I did that, you know what I'm saying? Because Jazz is good, man. She she perfectly fine. And that's what I wanted. I want I told her that that's what I wanted. I didn't want you to feel depressed. I'm around her. She she know what she know what it's like. She just, you know what I'm saying, had her baby. I didn't want her to feel depressed. God just gave me the strength to take all her pain away. And that's what I did. I took it away. Only God can judge. That's all I'm gonna say, man. Get this video a big thumbs up. Chat in the comments. Subscribe and make sure you hit them bell. Turn on post notifications because I know some of y'all keeping up with me. Somebody told me to keep going with these uh, videos and like I, I'm just like I don't. I'm not gonna make too many, but until I feel like I shouldn't upload videos explaining how I feel no more, that's when I stop. But until then, I'm gonna keep continue to upload how I feel and. This is how I've been feeling. You know, I really don't want to talk to nobody. But I feel like me talking to this camera, I feel like I'm letting out so much. I feel like I'm letting out so much. And so much weight is getting lifted off my shoulders. I love y'all. Thanks for watching and thanks for uh, having my back, y'all. Much love to y'all.